Hi everyone, um, I'm here at Verstraten IML. This is a company based in Maldegem. And this is a unique experience for me because I grew up in this town and now I live like 10 kilometers away from here in Knesselaar. And I'm visiting here at the Verstraten IML because um, first of all, they are a world leader in their industry in mold label printing, um, but they have a fantastic story on how they are becoming part of a solution for the challenges that the world is facing in terms of climate. And I'm talking here with Nico van der Walle, who is the head of innovation, and he has some fantastic stories to share with us. Nico, thanks for making the, the time. I'm very happy that we mm -hmm. can talk. And, yeah. and thanks for all the input that you gave me for the beautiful case study for yeah. my new book. The Thank Offer you for reaching out to us. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, two locals. <laughs> two locals. We live here. So yeah. this, is, yeah. this is fantastic for Indeed. us. Um, but let's start with the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are a printing company, Verstraten, the family name, yep. uh, in mold label printing. Mm -hmm. Many people will not know what in mold label printing means. Can you, no, can you briefly you can explain imagine. that? Yeah. yeah. So indeed, we are a printing company, but we are not printing on paper, which a lot of people would expect, but we are printing on, on plastic, on polypropylene. Um, and basically, we, we print labels, plastic labels. We cut out the labels. And that's the product that we sell actually to the plastic packaging producers. So people who are producing the plastic packaging, they use our labels to decorate the packaging in a one-step process. Okay. And are, are those then the typical kind of packages where, where you don't feel that there's a, a yeah. label around it? Indeed, it's not, it's, it? we're not using glue yeah. as a typical label would. Yeah, right. uh, but what our customers are doing, they are placing this label into uh, what they call a mold. Uh, a mold to uh, inject the plastic into it. And the label, as it is the same material as the plastic packaging, it actually melts together. Right. So you cannot really take it off again. Yeah. It's really fused together which offers a lot of advantages uh, throughout the supply chain and not the least also at the end of the, the supply chain, the recycling part. This is modern material, so you're yeah. not having a paper label on a plastic container, right. it's all one material. Yeah, and, and you guys are the world leader in this mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm. um, you grew like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's amazing to see the growth of, of this company. On the other hand, I can also imagine uh, that it must have been pretty scary if, if suddenly everyone is declaring the war on plastic, eh? you yeah. have big clients, PNG, Unilever, yeah. they're all yeah. saying we're going to get rid of plastic. Yeah, indeed. How, well, how, I'm, not, how? I'm not saying they all want to get rid of plastic, <laughs> well, at least I hope not. <laughs> but there is indeed, uh, since uh, two, three years now, a real war on plastics. Um, and yeah. Uh, at, how does that feel? How, uh, how, did, how does well, this land here in a yeah. company that relies on well, plastic packaging? I think it's quite logical or quite normal that you first are kind of denying. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, it will go over and, 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 but pretty fast because we are so active in this industry, so close working together with, with our customers, the packaging producers, the brand owners, also NGOs. We really uh, very fast, we came to the, the conclusion that, uh, yeah, this is serious. And indeed, there is an issue. And that's what Verstraten Mod Label says. We're not going to deny, we're not going to bury our head in the sand. No, right. we are actually uh, saying, okay, em embrace the war on plastics, uh, see the benefits out of it. It will drive innovation, it will give threats, but it also for sure gives opportunities um, and opportunities to grow even. So okay. that's the, the, the vision we have, is actually to embrace the situation, do not deny it and proactively do something about it. Okay. But I can tell you, yeah, it's uh, also for our customers. It was a big shock. Still is. We are still in the middle of that, uh, yeah. of, of that war. Uh, but, but you guys uh, try to be part of the solution, huh? if I indeed. get it right. Yeah. yeah. And and now mm -hmm. you're creating innovations that are basically gonna play mm -hmm. a tremendous role in the future of yeah. plastic packaging. Can mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that process on? what happened and how you guys now mm -hmm. see the solution at the mm -hmm. end of the tunnel? Well, th there's not, a, not something like a silver bullet, uh, okay. for sure not, because also European regulations will, will be different in uh, different member states. So we have to work on, on different fields uh, for offering different solutions to our customers. Um, but basically it all comes back to the transition from a linear economy to a circular economy. Mm -hmm. And what is a circular economy about is reduce plastics where possible, uh, I'm, not going to, I'm not saying that we have to get rid of them because plastic is a wonderful material mm -hmm. as long as you treat it in a proper way. Yeah. Uh, and it can be one of the most sustainable packaging formats, uh, but not as we do today. 
Now, so reduce plastics where possible, uh, making packaging lighter, for example. So our customers, they do everything they can to reduce the amount of plastic for one container, um, but still to, to keep it strong enough to um, give it the protection it needs and, and the exposure on the shelf. Right? So reduce yeah. the amount of plastics. Next to that is reusability. Now, for reusability, we have created a new type of label, which is what we call reverse IML. And it's a very durable label. One of the examples is reusable drinking cups. Well, unfortunately, this year, there haven't been that many festivals. No. Uh, but uh, over the last years, we saw a very high increase in the use of reusable drinking cups and not disposable drinking cups. Yeah. Now, that means that the drinking cup has to be reused over and over and over again. mean a lot of washing cycles. Therefore, you need to protect the decoration of the cup. So you want to have to start with a, a good looking drinking cup and you want to end with a good looking yeah. drinking cup. So we, we, we actually developed a specific okay. IML label that can resist that harsh environment of multiple uh, washing cycles. Okay. Um, another example that we think of is a reusable uh, pail for frying oil. Now, uh, it's an uh, Irish customer who uh, uses the pail to ship fresh frying oil to the McDonald's Burger Kings of the world. And the customer actually is shipping the used oil back to that oil producer with the same pail. The producer puts that oil into biofuel, washing, sanitizing that pail and reusing it again and again and again. A little bit comparable like, like beer crates. Yeah. So reusing is an important part of the circular economy. And now we need to talk about um, the thing that I love most. Mm -hmm. You guys call it the Holy Grail yeah. project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like Indiana Jones trying to find the Holy Grail. Yeah. Uh, I love that. <laughs> what is the Holy Grail project? Yeah, well, the third element of the circular economy that we did not mention yet, eh, next to reduce, reuse, is recycle. And, okay. and that's going to be the most important. In fact, we have to recycle the packaging waste that we put on the world. And that's not yeah. happening today. No. So it's, uh, that's, that's the biggest problem. Uh, what is produced is left on our uh, globe and we're not reusing it. Yeah. Um, now, to be able to reuse post-consumer waste, you have to recycle it. But you have to recycle it in a way that it is really safe to be used and high quality. And that's not possible today. So today we are not able to produce those high quality recycled waste streams. Mm -hmm. And that's where Holy Grail comes into okay. play. Tell us uh, more. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Holy Grail um, originates from the Ellen McCarter Foundation. So we are an, a member of the Ellen McCarter Foundation and, and uh, we are participating to the New Plastics Economy Initiative. Okay. And we were among the founders of the Holy Grail project. And we found in the first step of the project, we discovered uh, a technology which is called digital watermarks that the, that technology, digital watermark, can actually help us to create an intelligent way of sorting out plastics. Okay. Now, how are we going to do that? Um, digital watermarks can be printed. So this can be a standard label, but the same label can be printed with hidden codes, with hidden dig Digimark barcodes. Invisible for yeah. the consumer, yeah. but readable for a yeah. machine. Imperceptible, right? we, yeah. we, we call it, okay. imperceptible uh, codes which are all over the label and finally all over the packaging. So it becomes one coat. So no matter where you scan it, it can be uh, detected. And that's one thing. The next step is also that you need to have sorting units being developed to be able to, to scan those codes yeah. with cameras. Okay. So that's happening with industry partners. Um, and they are able to pick up the code, which translates it into a digital recycling passport. And that holds all the information that is needed to have an intelligent sorting. For example, uh, this polypropylene packaging today is easy to, to sort out already because it's mono material, um, it's polypropylene. But the same polypropylene can be used, for example, for a non-food packaging. Yeah. Well, the system today cannot make the distinguish between both. It's polypropylene. Okay. And we do not want that. We want to have food packaging separately recycled from non-food packaging. Yeah. And that's what Holy Grail is all, everything about. Okay. Really have an intelligent sorting out of plastics. Okay. Does that also mean, okay, you have the advantage of, of sorting it out and we can go to 100% recyclability because of that. Um, I can imagine that it can also have benefits for the supermarket. Now they mm. still have to look for that barcode yeah, indeed, and, and indeed. sometimes they yeah. don't find it. Is that, yeah. is that an extra benefit of, yeah. of this technology? 
You're right, indeed. Um, the same technology can be used throughout the whole supply chain. And that's what I always say, the beauty about it. Yeah. Um, so we uh, are branding uh, and selling um, labels with uh, digital watermarks under the name of Interactive IML. That's our commercial product, Interactive right. yeah. IML labels. Now, what they do, uh, indeed, they make the whole packaging one big code. And the code can be scanned with, for example, um, cashier system. Yeah. So today, like you say, People have to turn it around. Oh, here there they find yeah. the barcode and then they can scan it. Yeah. Um, with this new technology, the content of the barcode is all over the packaging. The lid, everywhere you have the label. So they just pass it as the cash register and it saves up to 20% of time. So I know when I go shopping uh, and I see a line in front of me, I already get a bit nervous. I yeah, don't know me about too. you. Yeah, yeah, me too, yeah, me too. And if you look to a number of studies, um, it's everything. Yeah, people do not want to queue on, on, no. on the checkout. It right. has to go fast. Um, less uh, problems uh, with mistakes, um, yeah. so people, uh, retailers are actually saving money uh, as uh, they are making less mistakes, uh, faster, happy customers, that's what it's yeah. all about. Time to talk to customers in a different way and not uh, yeah, calm them goods. down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's and cool. Yeah, that's so if, if, if I can summarize it, Nico, the, the advantage is environmental. Uh, mm -hmm. We can go to full recyclability because of mm -hmm. this, this yeah, invisible layer mm -hmm. of, of, of data, basically, mm -hmm. of code. Um, then we had the advantage of efficiency for the supermarket. Yeah, correct. Are there other benefits to this mm -hmm. you know, intelligent packaging? Yeah, indeed. Well, when we look to uh, consumer engagement, for example, um, not only you can scan the packaging with, with scanners or sorting machines, but you can also scan it with, with smartphones right. uh, or tablets. Um, and now, if you would ask uh, brand managers what they, they are looking for is, is big data. And big data can be harvested through the packaging. So a packaging really gets value added right. because it's a source of big data for, for brands. Um, so for example, if you scan as a consumer, I can scan the package uh, to get more information on how to use the product. Um, uh, in this case, it's a, it's a cheese, for example. I want to scan it. Um, they can get recipes. For recipes, instance, for example. Possible? They yeah. get more information on, on the recycling again. They get nutrition, probably. Nutrition. Uh, yeah. People who have difficulties to read the small text, you can uh, provide it bigger on the, on the screen. Okay. Yeah. Um, imagine that I'm, I'm traveling uh, to uh, Mexico uh, and I want to go into the supermarket. The package will be fluent Spanish. Uh, I cannot read that. Uh, so my smartphone is set in, in English or in Dutch. Um, it will scan the package and it will give me the information in my own language, wow. language for yeah. example. Uh, because the system knows oh, this is Dutch, this is Spanish, but let's, let's translate that for the consumer. That's cool. um, promotional actions, um, uh, for example, they, um, a retailer says, okay, in a certain part of the country, we still have a lot of stock of this product and it's about going to the end of the shelf life. So we have to really uh, start a promotion to sell more out of it. Um, yeah, how we do that today, um, making promotion, you have to print stickers, self-adhesive mm -hmm. labels, you have to put them on, you have to make posters and things like that. Forget about all, all about that. Um, you can activate on an online platform in that certain part of the country with geofencing. You just activate a promotional code. People who are scanning this package in the south of Belgium, they get the promotion. People scanning the, exactly the same package in the north of Belgium, sorry, no promotion. No, no promotion there. Yeah. So, well, yeah, yeah you can it's brainstorm endless, days. Yeah. It's, it's, it's endless. endless it's endless. endless. Interactivity. Yeah, yeah. But all that generates big data yeah. uh, for the brands that can be used to actually yeah, uh, start up new marketing campaigns. Yeah. yeah, and the interactivity and the engagement with yeah. consumers is, is yeah. also very interesting. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, what, what I really appreciate about mm -hmm. your story is you guys are in the eye of the storm mm -hmm. and you didn't run away. You, you looked for or you try to become part of the solution mm -hmm. and you basically changed your world. Huh? I, mm -hmm. And this is what I believe in. It's not about mm -hmm. changing the world, it's about changing your world. This is your world yeah. and you guys are yeah. contributing tremendously to the solution. And That's we also fantastic. have a responsibility for the 600 people that are working here. Yeah. Of course, we want to give them a sustainable future. Uh, we want to do good for nature, so yeah. uh, that's part of our sustainability Fantastic. program. Yeah, I wish you a lot of success and I really hope we're going to see this technology all over the place really, okay. really soon. Looking forward Thanks, to Nico. that. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you.